guys, you asked for it, so we're doing it. We're doing the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Pro hands-on and camera tour. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isa Does Tech, where we do tech in your real life in style. In this video, we're looking at a phone that a lot of you have asked about, like a lot. This is a top tier phone of Xiaomi's Redmi Note 9 series, the Redmi Note 9 Pro. Before we move on to this amazing video, I just wanted to say that if you guys are looking to buy this phone or any other phone, you might want to look at Lazada's biggest bounce back sale this July 15. This and the Redmi 9 series, meaning the Redmi Note 9S and the Redmi Note 9, and actually a lot of other phones are gonna be on sale. I mean, come on, half the time, that's what we be doing on our phones, online shopping. Lazada is also where I got these really nice storage boxes that now double as, you know, what, corner table. My really nice rug where I shoot a lot of my phone stuff on. My really nice cable box organizer. Another thing I got from Lazada is for the Mi Band 5. And yes, folks, I will have a video on this like this week. But I also found this really cute strap for it. It's pink wait that's not what i got wait this one i got this one i'm so excited anyway i'm getting carried away but yeah add to cart all these things that we be needing you get great discounts free shipping and you can use this voucher code for 500 pesos off on minimum 5,000 spend for new users yeah okay i'll put the links down below of the cool stuff i got and of course this phone too right back to the redmi note 9 pro before we focus on the actual phone, I just wanted to clear a little something something out. See, a lot of people are getting confused between the Redmi Note 9 and the Redmi Note 9S and the Redmi Note 9 Pro. I do have videos on the Redmi Note 9S so you can check that out. I'll link them up here and down below. But in a nutshell, there are three Redmi Note 9 phones. Basically, those three I just mentioned. So first off, the Redmi Note 9S features a 48 megapixel main camera. On the other hand, this Redmi Note 9 Pro features a 64 megapixel main camera. The rest of the cameras on these two phones are the same, including the processor that they use, a Snapdragon 720G, and both have 6 gig, 128 gig versions. That's specifically the version I have in my hand. The Redmi Note 9S starts with the 4 gig, 64 gig version, while the Redmi Note 9 Pro starts with a 6 gig, 64 gig version. Also, the Redmi Note 9 Pro has NFC and it comes in gray, white, and green versus the Redmi Note 9S which comes in gray, white, and blue. The one I did a video on is the blue one. On the other hand, the Redmi Note 9, which is, let's call it, the babiest brother of all three phones in this lineup, is one smaller than both the Redmi Note 9S and the Redmi Note 9 Pro, which are the same size. And two, it runs on a different processor, the MediaTek Helio G85. The Redmi Note 9 has the same 48 megapixel main camera as the Redmi Note 9S and a different macro and selfie camera. Also, the Redmi Note Note 9 has a rear-mounted fingerprint scanner, no 30-watt fast charging, and it comes in gray, green, and white. Yeah, I know it can get confusing, so feel free to like rewind that part. Anyway, now on to the Redmi Note 9 Pro. Right, so this is the Redmi Note 9 Pro. It has the same pretty and reflective back as the Redmi Note 9S. I mean, it's pretty, it's also pretty smudgy. <laughs> this phone has a good weight to it. It does not feel cheap, but like I said about the Redmi Note 9S, like I feel like it's pretty big. It's a pretty big phone, but the more screen to enjoy with. Four cameras on the back and also a slight bump. On the right side, we have a volume rocker and a fingerprint scanner that doubles as lock screen button. Bottom speakers, USB-C port, I think that's a mic, and then yay for audio jack. On this side, we have a SIM tray and dual SIM setup with space for a micro SD card. 
up top we can see that hump and then a mic and then what I'm assuming is an IR blaster because yes folks, Xiaomi phones are those phones that have IR blasters so you can use them to control your appliances. Like I said, remote control for your appliances. You have the Mi Remote app built in. All you need to do is pair with your appliances. That screen is nice and bright. Um, I mean, duh, I've already set this phone up. I've been using it for the last week. So yeah, I think it's time for a montage. on to the camera tour so we have here a wide 1x 2x hey and then you can zoom up until whoa look at my earring that is 10x wow up here you have settings for HDR let's turn that on auto AI and then different filters and of course the beauty mode so that's the beauty mode toggle right there here you have settings camera frame timer tilt shift grid line straight then the macro mode is up here again like i said xiaomi phones tend to put their macro mode up inside the settings and then a document scanner which i like basically an easy way to take photos of papers ids and stuff like that 64 megapixel mode like i said the main shooter on this camera is a 64 megapixel camera but like most phones they use pixel binning and if you're not familiar with what that is watch this video i'll link up here and down below it sort of explains what that is and yeah it doesn't shoot 64 megapixel photos but it has a 64 megapixel option just in case you'd want to shoot 64 megapixel photos portrait mode here so it says depth effect you have an aperture of 1 to 13 wait let's make sure I get recognized so you can see the effect so now it's focusing on the phone so as you can see everything in the background including me it's blurred out and then up here we have that mode i like in xiaomi phones we have the movie mode again this is basically um the depth effect made more dramatic by those black bars you can still adjust um the aperture here and then add beauty filters and then different other filters here and then we have oh look <laughs> okay and then we have the night mode so you have 1x 2x and then can we do a wide no wide but we can do a, a zoom up until 10x you have a panorama mode a pro mode so from here you have focus settings you have a shutter speed of 1 over 4000 to 30 seconds ISO settings 100 up until 3 3 3200 <laughs> 3, posture compensation and then you have the option of which lens to use and yeah you have metering modes focus speaking exposure verification all other good things Ooh, focus speaking <laughs> right let's move on to the other side of the menu on uh, video hello you have wide 1x 2x and then zoom up until 6x up here you have the beauty filter so you have a beauty filter 
on video mode and then different filters as well here it shows you you can shoot 1080p 60 fps up until 4k 30 fps and the lowest is 720p you have a time lapse mode you have a video movie frame mode basically that mode on portrait except this time you can do it on video a wide 1x 2x up until 6x as well macro mode on video grid lines straighten and then a mode i like on xiaomi phones a short video mode which allows you to shoot like 15 second clips and then from there directly post to your social media account so as you can see everything is here straight from your camera app so why is that a thing because guys shooting from your phone's native camera app basically allows you to shoot better photos versus shooting on the cameras on your instagram app that's a pro tip <laughs> so here you have the cute kaleidoscope mode you have a separate slow-mo mode and then you can shoot from wide 1x 2x up until 6x okay also you can do beauty mode and filters on this mode and finally slow motion <laughs> you have 960 fps 120 fps 240 fps selfie time hello so yes there is a selfie version of the slow mo mode short video mode gives you the same things video mode also what settings 1080p 30 fps 720 yep and then still we have the movie frame mode and finally beauty filters right also no zooming in or out on this mode now on photo mode hello can we zoom in or out nope there's also beauty mode but this time around it's more specific so you have smoothing slender big eyes what i say about the beauty mode is that it's great to have it's basically like makeup where you use it to enhance your features but still always girls love the real you different filters as well up here hdr settings let's put that on auto and then ai and then palm shutter you guys know i love this timer camera frame grid line sh settings 64 megapixel mode of course there's no front facing 64 megapixel mode because a 64 megapixel camera would be the one on the back portrait mode yes selfies you can adjust the blur in the background of course there's still movie frame mode night mode no selfie night mode yes we have a panorama selfie mode and of course pro mode can we wait is there is there a selfie mode for pro mode okay i do not think so and that was our camera tour now let's check out some sample shots That was our first look, hands-on, and a few sample photos from the Redmi Note 9 Pro. This phone honestly really feels like the Redmi Note 9S, save for a few tiny little details. I guess it would really depend if you're the type of user who values those specific upgrades. Anyway, there's still a lot we need to be checking out on this phone, especially we need to be taking those cameras out for a spin. Right, let me know what you think about this phone down in the comment section below. Let me know what you want to know about this phone as well. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, you can find me online. That's at Cisa said. Until next time, you guys. Ano yun? <laughs> biggest bounce back say. Wanna look at Lazada's biggest bounce back? Ano ba wanna bilin natin sa Lazada? Hashtag bounce back sa Lazada.